Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 23 of how I organize a digital marketing strategy. This time we're doing version two of the American Handbook, What Your Grandparents Want You to Know, which is by Marianne Datesman. Full disclosure, Marianne's been a customer of mine for years. So what's the point? An ounce of strategic planning saves your resources by the pound. So how I organize a digital marketing strategy, there's the six, and we're gonna go through each of them. So far as research, I'm not showing you the SWOT chart, but the goal of the SWOT chart is to inform your decision-making, right? For the brand. And it's a living document that you're going to update over time. It's the idea. So we use that to define the goal of the strategy, the customer point of view, as well as the pressing problem. Pictured, you can see some of the questions and some of the reports that will go into compiling a SWOT chart, which covers the strengths and weaknesses, the opportunities and threat specific to one brand. So the goal of this specific strategy is to empower Americans in pursuit of the American dream. And we're focusing on that in a couple of different ways by leading the public conversation around the six basic American cultural values, which Mary Ann defined in the book that she wrote, I think it was like 40 years ago. There is like, it's the, it's in the fourth edition currently. It's called American Ways, Introduction to American Culture. And it's for, ESL students that are obviously learning to speak English. And then we're selling access to the digital version of the American handbook. The customer point of view is the average Americans that are pursuing the American dream and Americans whose family heritage includes the six basic American cultural values. All right, so the pressing problem is lack of access to an organized digital handbook that explains the six basic American values concisely and then no one is empowering average Americans in their pursuit of the American dream. So the digital foundation, there's three parts to that. We start with the website, AKA the digital office, and it's the place online for vintage American ways, that brand. And we're, the way that we started it was building out from the homepage. So I'm using Essence Pro. It's a Genesis child theme. It's 130 bucks. If you've never bought anything from Studio Press before, studiopress.com. And that allows me to do a couple of things. Keep it simple is the goal, right? So homepage widget areas, I know that I can use those widget areas to build out the message on the homepage. And that's what we're starting with is a homepage first and foremost, because you can add a bajillion pages after that and posts and all these other media and custom post types and so forth. But you have to have a starting point, kind of the front door, so to speak, of the business, this brand. And so you lay that out with the homepage widget areas, You the navigation menus, I like to put them at the top and the bottom of every page. And you wanna make sure that any of the pages that's on those navigation menus are populated as well. So here is what we had as the homepage for the, the last six months or so, I'm not sure exactly how long, for a while. And that gold button goes to the first blog post for the new book she's doing one blog post for every chapter of the book as she writes them. I and they, they, she includes the rough draft of each chapter. It's very interesting. So here's the initial homepage and that's Mary Ann down the bottom. And so that's her and George there, her husband. And then this is the new homepage. And the idea behind it was to go specific rather than trying to be general. I just psyched myself out and for some reason went more general for a period and we're back to the very specific the idea being Mary Ann posed the idea of these six basic american cultural values and has refined them over the years as she put new and uh, new additions so it's really her life's work so the idea was let's just be very clear about the idea behind vintage american ways and so because it includes the American dream, it includes individual freedom, it includes equality of opportunity. Those are the American promises, if you will, whereas the hard work and the competition and self-reliance are the prices that are required for the American promises, right? And here is the homepage. If you scroll down further, 
you find her video where she explains the six basic values and that's had probably over 3000 views so far and it, it leads into the fact about she's writing two books and she has the american ways book which is currently in the fourth edition and now she's pinning american handbook and what i wanted to do was help people put it in perspective like put it in context for folks that happen to find if they find the title of something because there's 12 chapters right so people can come in for any number of different topics or subjects and i wanted to be able to bring them all kind of tie it all together for everyone so that ideally they have more incentive to engage long term with vintageamericanwaves.com so the idea was that it's almost the fifth edition of american ways but then the final answer must be no it's not because the two books speak to two distinctly different audiences in short americans and esl students and so below that you get a link to the amazon to buy american ways which is the fourth edition and it's for esl students english as a second language and then for the americans it's the american handbook right and that's a link to the product with WooCommerce. You can purchase digital store, friction-free access to buy. And the idea is it's five bucks to get access to the behind the scenes and all. And then from there, we're going to have an actual price and we'll, we'll see what that works out to, but it's being pre-sold for five bucks. The media archive. So you wanna archive your media as you create it you want to put it up in your own warehouse so you're in control of it right i like to include video audio and written slash images archived on the actual website and so here's an example of a couple of the blog posts and so december 5th november 26th of last year and then october 30th and november 3rd and this is uh below that so they always see that offer the point behind that so the third part is the audience and when you're dealing with the audience that means that you're starting to create your own media okay you you're going away from renting access to other people's audiences and now you're going to actually create your own audience right and so take a deep breath and just be yourself you want to just document the brand story that plays out over the years and start at the origin story. Just like with Spider-Man, they tell us, you know, how did he all suddenly get all these powers, right? And the same thing with your brand. What brought it together? What got it going, right? Because, what, 99% or the, some insane percentage of businesses in America fail still. So, the fact that you're still in business that's something to be celebrated basically so commit to a weekly list of media deliverables and you got to do this every week and you have to be committed to it otherwise you're never going to be able to gain traction and with that audience to where it just is never going to work out so you have to do that it, it, it doesn't always, it's going to be contextual. It, maybe it's a monthly, it, yours could be a yearly promise that every year you're going to show up once and that's, you know, perfect and amazing as far as for everyone that is in the audience, but it's got to be contextual and there's got to be a commitment and then a fulfillment of that commitment, right? Consistently. So focus on your customer. In, in this instance, us focusing on the customers that we're educating quote unquote, average Americans on the six basic American values as part of the heritage of every American. So in the goal being that we empower Americans in pursuit of the American dream, ideally, and then the video, the audio and written versions, we want to have all three of every single story or episode or however you want to divide it up. We want to have all three of every one of them. So it's up to the customer how they want to consume it because they have all three options every time. So, and then you want consistent committed action each and every weekend and week out. All right. So the media plan, the audience point of view is of average Americans pursuing their American dream and those Americans that are curious about the six basic American values. So, and there are the six. The show strategy is to have each episode focus on a how-to for one American cultural value. So going back, you know, one through six each time, maybe it's competition, maybe it's equality of opportunity, maybe it's the American dream, hard work, self-reliance, all of them will be covered, but 
in every single episode of the media that we create is always going to tie into one of them at a minimum. And the idea is to help Americans pull themselves up by their bootstraps as they pursue the American dream and the ability to stand on their own two feet. And so we're gonna do the video version and then we're going to use that to create the audio and the written version. The format is quote unquote how-to videos. And it's, the goal is that rather than lecturing, etc., let's empower with by disseminating information and you know, curating information that is untainted by outside third-party interests, i.e., we're putting it free online for people, for Americans specifically, right, in order to help educate the decision of an American in order to take a business online or not or you know, whatever, right? Because more Americans that realize the American dream, the better for every American, in my view. So in it, which in the more that more Americans that realize the American dream of their choosing, because it, it means a different result or outcome to every American is always going to be different. And then it doesn't matter if it's a African American or Indian American or French American or you know Canadian American, whatever the case is. The idea is the equality of opportunity means that every single solitary one that identifies American is able to fulfill their American dream, whatever their version of it is. And you know the goal is every person alive wants to improve their station. Like they want to make their life better. That's the goal. And the only difference is how much they're willing to pay for it or, you know, do for it or whatever. And, you know, not diminishing anyone. It's just every everybody wants to improve their life and provide for a better life for their children, right? So the show schedule is going to be once per week. That's, you know, again, to reiterate the point, all three versions every single time. And so the, here's some topics. It, you can see where I'm pulling them from. Those are the tentative titles of the first 12 chapters for American Handbook, What Your Grandparents Want You to Know by Marianne Datesman. The media creation process, it's all about attention. So when I say that, it's all about attention. Everybody thinks macro, but it really has to be more of a micro approach. So I talk to one person each time with each video. An individual person is in mind to talk to about this to the exclusion of some other people, right? And the inclusion of others. So I'm not trying to be everything to everyone because I end up being nothing to everyone. And part of attracting your ideal person is repelling the wrong people. The other thing, and this is key, especially when you're becoming your own media company and you're having to start creating media and, you know, it's... It's stressful, nerve wracking, however you want to put it. But you have to understand that people, humans, we improve through public experience and repetition. And, and the public part is very important that you agree or disagree with. And what I mean by that is you have to put it out every time in order to receive the benefit. It's just like in my mind, you can think about doing push ups or you can physically do push ups. You're going to get benefit from physically doing push ups not from just thinking about doing push-ups, right? It's the same thing here. If you create something and you don't put it out for the public, it doesn't count. Like I've gotten, you get some benefit because of the basic repetition of it, but it's so much smaller than when you're actually putting it out in the public. And I've seen that firsthand, like learn from my mistakes, because over the years, probably, if you look at my Facebook page, brand page, and you know the videos there, and there's a decent amount. Same thing at YouTube, my YouTube channel. There are there are some videos there, but it, it probably represents five percent of all the video that I've created over the past six years since I first started doing some videos. And so, just keep that in mind. You have to. It's going to take the repetition in order to improve, and you have to trust yourself. Like that's the big thing. You're the one driving the car, the boat or whatever. Now iterate your creation process. And here's the key to that. A process for creating something means that you output something. You have something to share at the end of it, right? And so here's an example to start from the idea being just get something and start doing it and then 
update the process as you do it. Okay, well, I need to, you know, I also need to do this here before that, or, you know, you'll, you'll continue to flesh it out over time. It's iterative, you know, in which builds on repetition. So plan it, shoot it, edit it, publish it. That is when you put it to your website that you own and then distributing it is putting it to all the other websites on line that you decide to distribute it directly to. And then you promote it, obviously, and some can be paid, some can be you know free. It's, it, there's all kinds of different tactics available. Just go to YouTube uh, as far as to promote your video. So the process is the slide deck and a soapbox by Wistia. That's what I'm using here to record this video. That's what I'll, I'm doing an example of this as well. I'm actually going to record after I've finished recording the actual video itself for example 23. I'm also going to do an example of one of the pieces of media that I'm proposing so that as I talk to the client later, Marianne and George Statesman, it, they'll, to hopefully it'll put it more in context for them. This is an example video, how to video one the question that I'm going to answer here as an example is, as an American starting a business in 2019, what's your ideal funding source? And the answer is paying customers. So the internet enables direct to consumer, which means that you can let the market decide about your product and not some power drunk gatekeeper. And how exactly does that happen? Well, let's say that you had a seed of 480 bucks that would supply your consumer testing right so it'd give you hosting of a woocommerce installation and a 365 day runway to prove your business idea so if you go to liquidweb.com forward slash products manage woocommerce hosting they'll even give you 25 percent off month one and whatever but the point is it's never been easier to actually prove the idea. And so the internet enables and empowers direct to consumer, which is something that like my grandfather was a sign painter slash entrepreneur on this property for five plus decades, lived here for well over seven decades. And direct to consumer outside of the general area, which Fitzgerald was never huge. <laughs> and these days it's, you know, much, much less than. And the idea is that you know, having great intent, caring about your customer, providing actual value, and you're able to do that on a direct to consumer. So you can actually give them something that the consumer values and you're able to get, sell it directly to them. So you make typically better profit off of it. So the market has, like I say, in liquidweb.com for the 39 bucks a month, and it's just a way to test it. And then if you if you prove the idea and you start making money, right, which you'll be able to through the, that WooCommerce installation, then and you can connect you know, Square or Stripe or PayPal, however you or all three in order to accept payments through that WooCommerce as well. And so the idea behind it is the American dream requires hard work, but it's never there's never been a lower barrier to entry for Americans with a viable market in need of service. So what we want to do with the Vintage American Ways is to educate your decisions, just like she's been doing for years with ESL students, with the book that she wrote and the topic of that book, which is these six basic American values. So our agenda is to always help educate your decisions as an American pursuing your American dream, because every business success or failure is determined by ownership decisions. And it's, that's just the way, that's the way of the market, right? The competition, that is the competition. I don't think that it's so much a direct competition type of thing. It's just, you know, attrition and the market. And so what we want to do is just help educate your decisions so that you're able to have the, your best opportunity because the more Americans that win, the more America wins in my view. And you know, as far as if you're interested in checking out the book, the handbook, it's $5 on presale. So you can get it through buy American handbook. 
and uh, over at vintageamericanways.com and it's secure and to definitely share us. You know, you know more Americans than we do. So please take time to uh, you know share the URL and just let people know if you if you think that they're interested in, you know, well, number one, if they're looking to be empowered towards achieving their American dream, but then beyond that as well, if they consider the six basic cultural values to be a part of their family heritage, then send them as well. Uh, they'll both of them are going to be happy to at least see what we have to offer. So, and that's our thing. We're not trying to talk anybody into anything. The idea is to give people an opportunity to buy something that they want to buy, ideally. So the deliverables is that main episode, and I consider this kind of like the buffalo with the American Indians and how they used it, all the different pieces of every single buffalo out of respect, right? Same thing for your main video episode. So for instance, I'm going to put together an example to show Georgia Marianne of the media that I would do to empower average Americans that are pursuing their version of the American dream, right? And so out of that, and it may be 10 minutes, it may be 30 minutes, whatever, however long it takes to tell the story that I need to tell. And then from that, I'm gonna pull 60 second video clips for Instagram and for Twitter, and then an audio version I'm gonna put out to anchor.fm and a written transcript and images and Twitter and Instagram posts for the episode, which consists of a series of images with text for each image in the series. So you have a, it's basically a gallery. You have, you give them, think of it at like four images with four pieces of maybe two sentences, three sentences each, right? And you're just telling a quick story over the course of those. So, but those are all deliverables as part of the media, right? And so just an example, like, you know, all the different, and that's an older one, um, an older screenshot, but it shows like that's where I put mine together is in slides. I record everything in to um, Soapbox by Wistia. I download it because I have the pro version. I use that MP4 file that I download from Soapbox, which here is Soapbox, and I'll download it and use that in iMovie on my desktop in order to do some light editing, really. And then from there, output each of the different formats that I need. So as far as distribution, the goal of it in my mind is to give the people what they want, where they want it, how they want it, every time they want it. So the way that we're approaching that is video, we're putting it into Wistia and putting it on the website. And then we're uploading natively to Facebook brand page. And we're about to start doing so to their YouTube channel as well. So the audio, we're putting that up, or we're about to start putting that up onto anchor.fm. And the written slash images, we are putting those and have been since day one at vintageamericanwings.com forward slash blog. So the prospects, average Americans that may be interested in the American handbook, what your grandparents want you to know, those are the prospects. So when you're talking about prospects, that means you need to have an offer for them to be a prospect for, right? And then you also need to address the entirety, the full cycle of the customer attention cycle. So when a customer is going to buy, that customer begins paying attention and then eventually they're going to focus their attention in to go through checkout. And then they're going to focus their attention in to get the value from whatever solution that they purchased from you. And then they're going to, if they have to get customer service, they're going to come pay attention to you to get customer service. You know, so we want to plan that entire life cycle. And the whole goal of it is to be available and using live chat and email specifically to deliver an experience that today's customer, today's consumer expects, demands really. The way that I lay out the digital offer is solution access, value, and education. This is in lieu of the four Ps of marketing from past industrial revolution, etc. So we start with the solution, which AKA the product, and that in this case is the American Handbook, What Your Grandparents Want You to Know. It's by Marianne Datesman. She's in the midst of writing it. She's already done the first six, she's working on the seventh chapter, and she has the first 12 chapters planned out. It may very well end up being 12 chapters at its full. And it's five bucks for pre-sale. Access is 
vintageamericanwage.com forward slash buy dash American dash can book. And the value is that you get the digital book when Marianne finishes it about the six basic American cultural values, which Marianne defined in the first place for ESL students over the past 40 years. So you're tapping into this woman's life work and the immediate access to the rough draft of those first six chapters, as well as subsequent rough drafts of subsequent chapters as they arrive or as they're available. No promise. It's Marianne's writing process. We're not dictating it all to it. She's creating and we'll let you know when it's created. So access to any supplemental materials that Marianne may make to accompany the book at some point. Education. Okay, so the goal is that, and this is kind of the communication or the message that we're going to focus on is empowering Americans. Okay, so each episode empowers Americans to stand on their own two feet, to pull themselves up by their bootstraps in their pursuit of the American dream by delivering a how-to for one, or maybe it should be specific to one of the six basic American cultural values. And the customer attention life cycle that we're starting with is everyone starts as a stranger, then we identify them as an American. And at that point, they make their decision to either become an audience member or not. And then from there, it's pursuing their American dream, which makes them a qualified prospect. Or the there's a second way that they become a qualified prospect as well. If they're an American, and they're not quote unquote, pursuing their American dream, then if they consider the six basic American cultural values as part of their family heritage, then they would still be a qualified prospect. And I failed to put that in there. But the other part is after that, they make a decision. Once we know they're a qualified prospect, we're going to make them an offer. And they're either going to accept or decline the offer. And so at that point, they're either going to... (laughs) stay a qualified prospect, go back to audience member, or go back to stranger if they want to. Or obviously if they decide to buy, then they go into become a customer. So the customers, and in order to be prepared when they decide to pay attention, we focus on two parts, customer conversation and the customer feedback loop. So the customer conversation, the goal of that is we wanna relate to people and we wanna be helpful, we wanna segment people so that we better understand their motivations, their goals, et cetera, right? And then the, we want to qualify prospects and disqualify prospects conversely as well. And then we also want to make contextual offers. That's the goal for us at the end of the day is, you know, to make the contextual offer that they either decide to accept or reject. And the goal isn't to talk anybody into anything. It's to give people an opportunity to buy something that they want to buy ideally. So the customer conversation, we're focusing on live chat at vintageamericanways.com as well as email. And the customer feedback loop, what happens is gatherup.com will email each individual that we have their email address for, obviously, that is a customer and send them a one to 10 question of how likely are you to share Vintage American Ways? And that's the net promoter score or NPS. And People reply one to eight, it puts them into what I refer to as a customer service queue and nine and 10 replies are thanked and invited to share their thoughts publicly with a shortcut buttons there as far as for different profiles on different networks, et cetera. All right, so campaigns is the sixth step. And for this, we're focusing on getting attention. We're gonna break the ice and the gist of it is Do you consider the six basic American cultural values to be a part of your family heritage? And then there's a follow-up question that we're also going to be doing, which I should add to this as well, which is, are you in pursuit of the American dream? So keeping attention, the goal is to tell a short story. And what I mean by that is we want an email list that empowers the subscribed Americans in pursuit of their individual realization of the American dream. So they're uh, working on the American dream. We want our email list to empower that. And so by giving them inspiring messages or stories, basically, and then also making sure that we're telling them stories that are helping them make better decisions for their efforts. All right. So what I would do with the admin 
campaign is the an initial one an example is some form of link building campaign i would start there because dot edu dot gov shouldn't be a huge issue for this specific i mean she was a teacher for year decades and she knows loads of teachers and you know esl students and she wrote the book and she's writing the other book and the so the goal would be no one's ever really done any a link building at all for the website like ever so there's a lot of really low-hanging fruit is my bet for a reputable link builder person company team whatever just we're gonna have to figure out how we want to go and it's really going to be see what kind of budget we are putting against it if you wanted to do it yourself here are the different stuff it, manage woocommerce hosting from liquidweb.com it's it's the beginner plan, so it's 39 bucks a month, and there are some restrictions on that, like the full-fledged plan for managed WooCommerce at liquidweb.com is 250 a month. So there, but they have a very scaled down version, and it's it's great, like to get some business going, get some money coming in to be able to pay the 250, then you know it's a great way to go. The 50 bucks a month for drift.com, that's the live chat and email. That's two live chat operators plus email is included for 50. 100 bucks a month for Wistia, that's the video hosting and analytics. 40 a month for GatherUp, that's the customer feedback loop. 90 a year for Yoast.com, that's the premium SEO plugin for WordPress. You're gonna want that. $300 a year for Wistia.com Soapbox, that's what I'm using to record this. It makes presentations a snap, you just use your screen on your whatever laptop desktop that you decide to use and it, you have your camera and it records it puts the two together for you and you're up and running and so 130 bucks for studiopress.com and that's for the essence pro theme if you've never bought anything from studiopress.com before that that's when it's 130. If you've already bought something, it's probably gonna you're probably gonna pay a lot less for it. Total 748 or so and 229 a month. If you have questions, Jason at jasonopsllc.com or you can always give me a call. Feel free to call me and leave a message. If I don't know your number, I will not answer. However, I will check them and always get back as soon as I can. 912-381-6318 and you can also text, just give me some kind of context. What's next? So example 23 is Thursday, January 10th. I'll uh, I have to correct that. And you have a great one. I'll see you then. If you have questions, hit me up.